All right, hold on for this one because it's been bugging me for a while and I spoke about it on a podcast, but I thought it deserved its own video. Okay, ranked mode, Call of Duty. Call of Duty has had many ranked modes over the years and I thought they're all terrible. Now, I don't mean the way that you you level up or the way that it's in, incorporated. I just mean in its impact in Call of Duty. Call of Duty has a very serious problem. It's that its rank mode has never meant anything. All right? Its rank mode has never been the same as any other esport or any other game. Okay? Now, there have been some missteps in rank modes. Ones where there are... Oh God, there are so many problems. Right, let me, let me break this down from the beginning. Sometimes the ranking system doesn't make a ton of sense. You can go up and down very easily and, and people... I think it was the, the last game we had these weird ranks that people really didn't understand. There were set levels for ranks, right? Halo had it. It was 1 to 50. Figure out exactly where you are. Most others go like gold, you know, platinum, bronze, iron, whatever, right? All very easy to understand. Right up into challenges, masters, whatever. Okay? Call of Duty hasn't always done that. Sometimes it has, sometimes it hasn't. Needs to just be... Simple. Simple to understand exactly where you are. I am a silver player. I am a gold player. I am a master player. I am a challengers player. I am a pro. Period. Right? That's a great way for it to work. Hasn't always done this, but that's a fairly simple thing. The other thing it needs to do is to figure out exactly what it means to be in a ranked mode. Now, some ranked games, like Counter-Strike, for instance... When you click, you are going to play ranked. You click again to kind of confirm that you are ready to play a game that could last up to 90 minutes. Okay? Very important. Call of Duty, if a team is losing, you struggle to keep them in for two minutes. Right? There needs to be severe consequences for anybody leaving a Call of Duty ranked game. Just flat out severe consequences. Whatever it is. Bigger loss. Timeouts. No XP. Whatever. It is. In casuals, I don't care, but in rank mode, Call of Duty really needs to fix this problem because a lot of the time you can be in a game and you'll be playing 1v4, 2v4, 3v4. It is a competitive game. You need those players in there, right? You need them to be in the game to be playing well and to understand that to play in a ranked game is to commit to that game and to play to better yourself and get further, okay? There's been a lot of talk about skill-based matchmaking at the moment and about, you know, why are we getting better? Why is this not just in rank mode? Well, because in rank mode, it needs to be. And this is actually, this is another reason for this video, right? This is the perfect time for a rank mode to make a significant impact in Call of Duty. Skill-based matchmaking this year has meant many people's KD ratios. The primary stat that anybody asks about in Call of Duty has been kind of nerfed and taken out of the equation. Every other esport. The, I have played any sort of game from StarCraft, Rocket League, even Valorant, CSGO, League of Legends, any of them, Rainbow Six Siege, right? People ask me, oh, what rank have you gotten to? What rank are you? Very good question. Usually gives them an indication of your skill, especially if you want to play with them. Anywhere from, you know, silver to platinum. Somewhere in that area, right? For the, for the casual competitive player. And that's important. In Call of Duty, all we ever ask about is kill-death ratio. Hell, even in the pro circuit, we ask about it. It's a major stat for us. We get cards made up about how much KD ratio has been played. You know, what have they got? Oh, I don't know, 1.2 of this event. Doesn't tell me shit. As many pro players have, have mentioned, it doesn't mean a lot. There are intangibles. There are reasons. There are trades. This is not a game. It is about how good you are. And Call of Duty has never had that. Because it doesn't matter to a lot of people. And I don't just mean the competitive people. I mean everybody. Call of Duty has to engage the casuals and make them understand that if they want to be better, they need to play this way. And that will engage content creators. It will engage people to watch pros. Right? One of the biggest criticisms of level against pros is they're not entertaining enough to deliver it. And people who are into competitive will watch them. But casuals won't watch them because obviously they're just good. Right, but you can find YouTubers that are good that are also funny and engaging and tell stories and have wild personalities. So people watch them. They're not as good, but it's subjective. You don't really care. You know, they'll they'll put out a gameplay. Oh, I went thirty. You know, in a public lobby, who cares? Call of Duty has to make ranked matter because this year it does. You know, we saw. Uh, I think it was Sensor who put out. Oh, no pro has over a two point zero or whatever. Well. This is, we want to know where you are in the rankings. If skill-based matchmaking is determining our reload, then what the hell is mine and how do I get better? Make it matter. 
I want to ask, I want a casual COD player of mine to come up and ask me what rank I am. And I want to ask them what rank they have gotten to. Now, I believe in Advanced Warfare, they did take some steps towards this. You got the camos in Advanced Warfare, depending on where you finished in that season of ranked. Okay? Good start. Great start. We need more of it. Never happened to really again, you know, it kind of happens occasionally. We need something that's like, like, put it in the game, make it matter. I want to go into a lobby and I want to see somebody with a, with a silver name, with a gold border, with gold camo for their guns, and but like, worked out to how it works, all right? Make it so that players, casual players, want to be specific ranks and want to get better and show and make it difficult and make it engaging. And I honestly don't even care if it's a best of five you have to play, right, with a team. Figure out how to queue solo. Figure out how to queue as a team. Make it so the casuals can understand and make it so they want to play ranked and play this Call of Duty competitive esport that we all love. This is the year. This is the year it has to happen and it needs to happen because if it happens this year, it will take off. You can play in these casual lobbies which are very, very sweaty and play people hanging back with M16s on every, on every chest high cover. Or you can play competitive where you get a rank and you know it's going to be sweaty and you've made that choice to be better. It's it's so simple, but it needs to have real world consequences. I want to go on somebody's thing and you know, even trash talking, oh this guy's only a silver player, we're gonna smoke him. Oh this guy's a gold player, or this guy's a platinum player, or this guy's a diamond player, oh god he's a diamond player, we might get beaten here. He's clearly very, very good. Right? And I don't know how you're gonna do that, whether you have to see it in the lobby, they've got like a gold outline, even something that simple, right? When you come up against them you can just tell. Right, I go into a le I load into League of Legends, and I can see the borders that people have won. Right, make ranked matter. That is the most crucial thing because Call of Duty has never managed to do it. For us competitive players, for people who are probably watching this video, it, you've never really thought of it this much because you play GBs anyway, or you play game battles, you play scrims, right? And ranked is actually our casual mode. We go into ranked and don't really care. Some people like grinding it out, some people don't, right? Black Ops 4, a lot of people I knew grinded it. They love grinding it. Didn't have the clearest indication of what the ranks always were, like elite something, and you couldn't really tell. But the casuals, not so much. It needs to have something in-game. I don't know what's going to have in-game. I don't know exactly what the best way for the developers to do it is. But with KD mattering less this year, with KD... And the SBMM kicking in, and the ELO oh, is clearly in the background somewhere to figure out where you should be. Ranked is a saviour. Ranked can take off. It is the a good rank system that matters for ranks, right? Will be the greatest net engagement of casual players to competitive, right? You can stick in CWR skins, you can put it into the game, you can put it on the stadium. People may go, oh, that's a curiosity, that's interesting. But when people are talking in between their friends, what rank are you? That's when Call of Duty jumps up a tier in esports terms. That's when you get an extra 100,000 people watching the big tournaments because they've been invested in these pro players because they're going, like, I want to be better. How do I get up on the other rank in rank mode? Well, I'm going to go watch, oh, this is Octane guy. Oh, he's telling me how to get better in rank mode. What am I doing? How do I play hardpoint better? What do I need to be doing in S&D? Not, oh, I'm using some bullshit shotgun in a corner for 10 minutes. No, I need to do this. I need to engage, sweat hard, communicate, strategize, position better. All these millions of things that don't matter to casual players, that we as competitive players know. And they won't engage on it until there is a real reason for them to do so. And ranked in the correct way is that reason. Give them a reward. You get to gold, gold border. Put it on their profile. Put it on their lobby so people can see that you've got a gold star next to your name or a diamond next to your name or a piece of bronze ingot. I don't care, but it has to happen. Because Call of Duty needs it. Call of Duty Competitive needs it. And when it happens and it takes off, we will notice. We will see another 100,000 people on Reddit. We will see Call of Duty content go even bigger. Because people will care. Like I care, but it's been me ranting. I needed a good rant about this. I'm sure I've missed bits. I just, I just like a good rant. But I don't know. I'm passionate about Call of Duty. I thought I needed to put that out there. All right. Thank you all for watching. <laughs> if you've got any comments, put it below. We'll see you next time.